Why do people die? They have received the promise of healing. Reverend Dr. Holly Namokun, United Methodist Church. Translator, Mrs. Irene Park. Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. Throughout my healing ministry, I often had this question why so many people who had received the promise of healing ended up dying. My older sister, whom I was so sure of her answered prayer, passed away. And these days, I am apprehensive that the same thing might happen to those in spite of their assurance of promised healing. There is no reason for me to deny the fact that they have received the promise if they say so. But quite often, instead of focusing on receiving the healing, I prepare them for their blessed departure. I always wanted to ask the Lord about it, especially when I met my deceased sister in a dream. I was bewildered because she looked quite anxious at first, and I wondered why, and I finally asked the Lord. Jesus explained about my sister first, and I finally understood. Those who enter into heaven do not automatically forget everything about this world, nor adapt to the new surroundings right away. Their heart still goes out to the family members, and they are especially concerned about their children. It just takes some time. It does not mean that they are in discomfort or unhappy. When you come to heaven, you have all the memories from the earth. If the suffering was especially severe during the last moment, it is almost unbelievable to feel no pain at first. And they gradually become accustomed to it. In heaven, Soul and spirit exist with all the memories from the past. Your sister had a lot of worries about her children and grandchildren. It was unbelievable to her how she felt, so light and totally healed, but she did not feel peaceful right away because of her children and grandchildren whom she left behind. You promise her to pray for her children and grandchildren continuously. Have you been keeping your promise well? Lord, as you know, during those three years when we did prayer walk, we prayed calling out each of their names. And these days, we have not been able to do that. Then begin again. Your sister is still praying for her descendants only. Then, please tell me about healing. Many people give testimonials publicly about the promise of their healing and actually get well for a while, and then suddenly they encounter death powerlessly. What is the reason for that? You must comprehend well. My promised healing is completed in heaven because the word healing has the same meaning as salvation. Saying your sins are forgiven to a paralytic is the same as saying your disease is healed. When I promise healing, it is not confined to the physical healing only. It means his spirit, soul, and body will be totally healed, which will be completed in heaven. You ought to understand the meaning of you are healed as the total healing of your spirit, soul, and body but it is easy to misunderstand and limit to the physical healing only. But people consider the physical healing as the best thing that can happen on this earth, don't they? They do. But what is more important is the healing of the mind. Since neither mind nor spirit can be seen, people pay attention to the physical illness only. What is the healing of the mind? In heaven, people live with the heart of love, peace, rest, joy, freedom, and everlasting life. 
that becomes possible because all of the worries from the earth have disappeared. In this world, not only Satan accuses, but also people worry about their own salvation because of the sins. But for those who are in heaven, there is nothing to worry about. The true shalom, which you can feel from the safe redemption without any concerns, if you have that on this earth, it means your mind has been saved. But the majority of people do not attain it in this world and receive it in heaven. All these I call healing, in other words, salvation. If you could enjoy such heart in this world, that very place would be heaven. That is right. Everyone has emotional fluctuations like bipolar symptoms, because in this world, your emotion will change according to what you see, hear, and say. What you feel in heaven is everlasting peace. There is no need for emotional bipolar in eternity, especially in your case, it is quite severe. If someone criticizes you or says you are strange, your emotional reaction is big. Do you remember when your church member said, pastor's wife is such and such, and there is no revival because of the pastor? You could not tolerate it and showed emotional depression. Even though you have improved since then, you still have not overcome completely. To receive total healing in all those areas, it ultimately means it will be completed in eternal world. When you say you are healed, many people could interpret it as the physical healing on this earth rather than total healing in eternal world. For some people, it could mean their physical health will be restored, or it could be the promise of complete healing and salvation in heaven after death. Therefore, the promise of healing is definitely achieved either on this earth or in heaven. When the past tense of you have been healed is seen from the perspective of eternity, this promise of healing can become a past event for everyone. What is most important is that your spirit, soul, and body will be healed totally and completely. The word healing and salvation, sozo, are synonymous. After I listen to the Lord, I realize the complete healing of spirit, soul, and body is more important, whereas we have been focusing on the narrow meaning of healing. We have been limiting this broad healing ministry. And as a result, there are many people who ask, why am I not getting well? How important it is for our spirit to be well. I realize it is crucial that we do not focus on the physical healing only, but we must look up to Jesus who makes us whole. But at the same time, I am afraid there won't be that many Christians who can understand and digest this truth. But today, I receive the answers to the various questions I had, such as why my older sister has such a concerned look on her face, and why many people who were so sure of their promise of healing ended up dying. Lord, I thank you for the lecture today. You can order these three books from Amazon Kindle. 365 Prayers of Blessing for Your Children. Theory and Praxis of Land Work. The Lord's Visitation for 14 Days. My Beloved Bride, Heal as I Reveal. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namo Yun Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of Doctor of Ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. 
She is an executive director of Menowa Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for ministers. Now, she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sung Bum Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. In Hebrew, Menua is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term Menua as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yunnamok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.